misconceptions and myths about ADHD symptoms and ADD. There are quite a lot of myths about ADD and myths about ADHD symptoms. Attention Deficit Disorder and Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder are closely linked. On the whole, ADD could be considered a slightly older name for ADHD, as both encompass, but do not have to be limited to, trouble focusing, hyperactivity, and impulsivity. Some psychologists would say that inattentive ADHD is the type of ADHD that used to be called ADD. In this video about misconceptions around ADD and ADHD, we'll refer to the condition by both names for the sake of clarity. 1. It's a lack of willpower. They're just not trying hard enough. You often hear people say things like, well, yesterday you focused on hobby X, so why can't you focus on your task today? However, it's not as simple as that. Both ADD and ADHD are complex psychological disorders likely resulting from a chemical imbalance. 2. ADD and ADHD is just a label for children with behavioral problems. Many with ADD and ADHD symptoms do not have behavioral problems in the sense that they are difficult children. They have problems with focus, organization, motivation, memory, and other functions of the brain's management system. This does not necessarily have to result in behavioral problems. 3. Brains of people with ADD or ADHD are overactive. Actually, the inhibition areas of the brain that help us focus aren't active enough. It's more likely to be the opposite, but it often results in the person with ADD or ADHD being too active. 4. Unless you've been diagnosed with ADD or ADHD as a child, you cannot have it as an adult. Or, ADD or ADHD only occurs in children. This is not true either. Many people with ADD or ADHD symptoms have struggled with it for a long time before getting an accurate diagnosis. Whether this diagnosis happens when the person in question is still a child, already an adult, does not change anything about the fact that they have ADD or ADHD symptoms. 5. You cannot have ADD or ADHD and another psychological disorder like depression, anxiety, and etc. Actually, people with ADD or ADHD symptoms are more likely to also have depression or anxiety. Disorders can overlap. It makes sense when you think about it. If you've got anxiety and you're anxious and scared most of the time to the point where it impairs your normal functioning in daily life, that is not a nice situation. It seems reasonable that if that's the case, you're more likely than average to get depression. 6. Hyperactivity affects all adults with ADD or ADHD. The levels of hyperactivity can differ depending on the individual, and this is still the case for adults. Hyperactivity is ADHD's most visible symptom, but not its only one. 7. If you have ADD or ADHD, you're lazy and not intelligent. Lazy implies that the person has the ability to do something, but consciously chooses not to do it. This is not the case for people with ADD or ADHD. They want to focus, but they can't. Furthermore, just because they have trouble focusing doesn't mean that they have lower intelligence. They work differently, and it can be immensely frustrating if you have the intelligence to do the task, but your brain just won't focus. 8. Meds will solve ADD or ADHD. While meds can go a long way in helping towards decreasing the hindrance from symptoms, they do not necessarily solve the underlying condition. Also, they are more effective in combination with behavioral and cognitive behavioral therapy. So those were 8 myths about ADD and myths about ADHD. Have you ever experienced any others? Let us know in the comments below! If you liked this video, check out our other social media for more content. And don't forget to subscribe! Thanks for watching.